Different kinds of teas have different levels of caffeine. For two reporters to measure how much caffeine is in a particular type of tea, we need the help of a lab to separate caffeine from the other components of the drink. Shelby Hatch, director of the undergraduate general chemistry lab at Northwestern University, helps us run an experiment to extract the caffeine from tea. First, we steep our sample of Assam and gunpowder green teas for two minutes. Then we add sodium carbonate to make the components of the tea water soluble so they will easily dissolve in water. Next, we have to add methylene chloride to the tea and then swirl it for 10 minutes so that the caffeine can dissolve into it. Methylene chloride is um, the, the nonpolar solvent that we are using to extract the caffeine because the caffeine is much more soluble in methylene chloride than it is in water. At the end of the 10 minutes, um, the majority of the caffeine would be in the methylene chloride and all of the other components um, would be in the upper aqueous layer. We pour as much of the upper layer as possible into a beaker and discard it. Then we pour the rest of the mixture through a filter that only lets water through. Now we just have the caffeine remaining in the methylene chloride. Next, we transfer the methylene chloride to a beaker and add sodium sulfate to absorb any leftover water. It leaves little crystals at the bottom of the beaker. We take a new beaker and weigh it. We'll use that number for the calculation at the end of the experiment. Then we transfer the methylene chloride into the beaker and put it on a hot plate until the chemical evaporates. See that white powder left over in the beaker? This is pure caffeine. So now that we've gone from this to this, it's time to find out just how much caffeine is in the tea. We have to weigh the beaker with the caffeine in it and then subtract the original weight of the beaker. The last thing we have to do is adjust the calculation because some of the methylene chloride was lost earlier when we filtered the solution. Based on our calculation, the Assam tea has the same amount of caffeine as two cups of Coca-Cola Classic, and the gunpowder green tea has slightly more. There are other analytical ways to measure caffeine content in liquids like tea. And one way would be the UV vis spectrophotometer, and the UV vis spectrophotometer measures the absorbance of light. Another um, more precise way, especially when you're dealing with colored substances or mixtures which might have other components which might also be absorbing light at or near the place where the caffeine absorbs, is to use something called HPLC, which is high performance liquid chromatography. And this is a better method because it separates out all the different components um, based on how soluble or insoluble they are in water and another solvent. The caffeine extracted from coffee and tea is used to caffeinate other products such as soda. Danny Friedland, Tara Kerpelman, Medill Reports. Reports.